um, and as fundamentally as we have. Just to recall, Globe is taking a very different approach than almost all carriers on the planet. We are replacing every single base station, every single element in the network with brand new equipment. It's greener, it's more efficient, more importantly, it provides a great customer experience. When you do it, the extent to which we do, you have to do it in three steps. Step one is the change out. You have to replace all the base stations at the base station itself. That was due to be complete at the end of Q1 and was complete. So we swapped out. Step two, and step two is where you get the dramatic improvement in calls and SMSs and coverage and things of that nature, is when you optimize that network. So you finalize the antennas, you tune the network, you make sure all the base stations are aligned with one another. That is actually ongoing right now, due to be complete with an NCR in the next 60 days. Um, so you will see over the next, in fact, week on week, we're actually seeing it in the stats over the last three, four weeks. Um, dramatic improvements area by area in the call and SMS performance. <coughs> Step three, which is the probably for me the most exciting because I'm a data hog, is the transmission. Um, uh, so we are fibering 12,000 kilometers of fiber. Almost every 90% of the base stations in Metro Manila will be fibered, as well as Cebu, as well as Davao. Um, and many other base stations across the country. That will bring speeds for both 3G uh, up to near LTE standards. Um, uh, and, uh, and that's very exciting. That is ongoing and will extend through the third quarter. Uh, but for those of us every day, like most of us in the room who care about the drop calls and the texts, uh, next 60 days for Metro Manila. So uh, by the time we sit here in late June, you can hold me to that. So late June. Yes. Yeah, and the site swap out is complete as as we've committed. You're not alone with the drop cost, though. 